to me are sweet as roses in the morning. You to me are soft as summer rain at dawn in love we share. That's something rare. The sidewalks in the street, the concrete and the clay beneath my feet begins to crumble. But love will never die because we'll see the mountains tumble. Good evening, everyone. This is Ed Rambo, and you're entering my little corner of the world, where tonight's theme is Groups to Remember, Part 3. And don't forget, two weeks from tonight, it's my 300th show, so I hope you can all join me for a great big musical extravaganza. Be aware that I've got a very special, never-before-heard specialty song to play for you on my 300th show, so you don't want to miss that. But before beginning tonight's theme, Once again, they came in threes. The passing of three entertainment icons, starting with comedian, or should I say comedian, because I'm speaking of Barry Humphreys, famously known as Dame Edna, of classic talent indeed. Next came Len Goodman, the head judge of the popular TV show Dancing with the Stars. And finally, our beloved Harry Belafonte, whose singing style was unique and will never be forgotten. To all three of you, On behalf of myself and my entire listening audience, thank you for the many hours of enjoyment you gave us during your time here on Earth, and may all three of you forever sweetly rest in peace. Now let's get to this evening's theme festivities with a group that's definitely worth remembering, The Miracles, and on this particular recording, it's featuring Billy Griffin. Here's my take on Love Machine. From the Miracles, that was Love Machine, and out goes a big round of applause to that group for its long list of musical contributions, including such songs as Shop Around, I Second That Emotion, The Tears of a Clown, You've Really Got a Hold on Me, and so many, many more. 
Therefore, before moving on to our next group, please accept our thanks, you guys. Speaking of our next group, it's one that we all love for its incredible offering to the musical world. They called themselves The Platters, and this is only one of so many great songs they've turned into hits. Smoke Gets In Your Eyes. How I knew my true love was true I of course replied Something here inside Cannot be denied Said someday you'll find All who love are blind Oh, oh, oh. when your heart's on fire You must realize Smoke gets in your eyes I chaff them and I gaily laughed to think they could doubt my love. Yet today my love has flown away. I am without my Friends deride Tears I cannot hide oh, oh, oh. So I smile and say When a lovely flame dies Smoke gets in your eyes A huge amount of thanks to the Platters for so many wonderful musical memories. This next group delivered a soft rock song written for the 1970 film Lovers and Other Strangers with music by Fred Carlin and lyrics by Rob Royer and Jimmy Griffin, who were both founding members of the soft rock group Bread. It was originally performed for the film soundtrack by Larry Meredith, but the best known version of the song is by American pop duo The Carpenters, which reached number three on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 chart and number one on the U.S. Billboard Easy Listening chart in 1971, becoming a gold record. That same year, 1971, it also won the Academy Award for Best Original Song. Here's my take on this wonderful Carpenters classic, For All We Know. the two of us strangers in many ways we've got a lifetime to share so much to say and as we go from day to day I'll feel you close to me but time alone will tell Let's take a lifetime to say I knew you well For only time will tell us so 
And love may grow for all we know Love, look at the two of us Strangers in many ways Let's take a lifetime to say I knew you well For only time will tell us so And love may grow I wasn't sure, so I googled it and discovered that a duo is considered a group. So thank you to that wonderful twosome known as The Carpenters. Your music and haunting vocal quality, Miss Karen Carpenter, will go down in history as one of the truly greats. It's just a shame you had to leave us so soon. So rest in peace, dear lady, and know that you'll forever live on through your songs. Next, in 1955, a song with music by Alex North and lyrics by Hi Zaret was written as a theme for the prison film entitled Unchained, hence the song title Unchained Melody. Todd Duncan sang the vocals for the film soundtrack, and it has since become a standard and one of the most recorded songs of the 20th century. Most notably, in 1965, by the duo we're honoring tonight the awesome Righteous Brothers. According to the song's publishing administrator, over 1,500 recordings of Unchained Melody have been made by more than 670 artists in multiple languages. And tonight, you're about to hear the one recorded by the 671st, yours truly. Please enjoy my rendition of Unchained Melody. My love, my darling, I've hungered for your touch a long, lonely time. Time. So slowly But time can do so much Are you Still mine I need your love I need your love God speed your love To me Lonely rivers flow To the sea To the sea To the open arms of the sea Lonely rivers cry Wait for me, wait for me I'll be coming home Wait for me Oh, my My darling, I've hungered for your touch 
a long, long lonely time, and time goes by so slowly. Yet time can do so much. Are you still mine? I need your love. Oh, baby, I need your love. God speed your love to me. The Righteous Brothers gave us that one, and every time I hear it, I can't help but think of Patrick Swayze's hands wrapped around Demi Moore's in the sensual pottery-making scene in the film Ghost. So thank you to the Righteous Brothers for their many amazing musical offerings to music lovers everywhere. For those of you who may have just tuned in, you're listening to Ed Rambo, and this is My Little Corner of the World on MemoryLaneOldies.com. Tonight's theme... Groups to Remember, Part 3. The last in a three-part series before moving on to my 300th show, which will air two weeks from this evening. So please join me and help me celebrate this rather unbelievable number of shows that I have produced throughout the years. For if it wasn't for all of you, I would have given up a long time ago. Thank you all for your continued love and support. It has meant and continues to mean a lot. That said, let's bring out our old buddy... America's favorite pussycat, Talking Tom. How about this, Tom? Two weeks from tonight, we're going into our 300th show. Yes, and I still can't figure out why it isn't mine. Never mind, just get to the jokes. Okay. By the way, I'm sorry if I sound a bit under the weather tonight, but I have a terrible case of indigestion. Oh, from what? From my wife's cooking. What else? I'll tell you, that woman is such a bad cook. Last night she made alphabet soup and it spelled out help. Oh no, she can't be that bad, Tom. Oh really? How could toast have bones? (laughs) Well, I think he got a point there. Her meals are so disgusting, the flies have been pitching in to fix the screen door. The only good thing about her cooking is that we never have mice. As soon as they taste their food, they throw themselves onto the traps. Well, since you have a fear of mice, I suppose that's a good thing. That's what I just said. She's such a bad cook, she even serves poorly. What do you mean? Well, when you put down a steak, how do you forget the plate? And everything she cooks, she burns. She even burned the cookbook. It's gotten to the point where even the smoke detector got tired of responding. The smoke detector got tired of responding? Yeah, and that really ticked her off because she used to use it as a timer. Even the stove is aware of her terrible cooking. The minute she steps near it, it starts to tremble. Oh, and get this. One day, I came home and found her locked inside the refrigerator half frozen to death. What? Why? She told me she was following the recipe. It's set to chill for one hour. Oh, come on. Now you're exaggerating. But we gotta go, so say goodnight, Tom. Wait a minute. I got one more joke. Well, okay, but make it a quickie. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. Uh, what did the soap say to the bartender? I don't know. Tell us. Give me some suds and put it on my tub. Oh, Tom, that's so bad. I know, but I thought at least one of my jokes should match your singing. I am not even going to dignify that with a comment. Now say goodnight. Good night, everybody. Earplug time, because Eduardo's back. See you in two weeks. But for now, my catnip awaits. And 
there you have it, folks. That does it for tonight from America's favorite pussycat, Talking Tom. Returning now to tonight's theme, Groups to Remember Part 3, I'm about to sing a song written by Clifton Davis and recorded by the Jackson 5. The song was originally written and intended for the Supremes. However, Motown decided it would be better for the Jackson 5. It was the first single released from the group's 1971 album, Maybe Tomorrow, and was one of the group's most successful recordings. It has been covered numerous times, most notably in 1974 by Gloria Gaynor. To honor the Jackson 5, here's my version of Never Can Say Goodbye. The Jackson 5 went on to give us the king of pop himself, Michael Jackson. So thank you to the Jackson family for some of the most memorable moments in musical history. Let's move on now with a song written by the British rock band, The Rolling Stones. It was first released in 1970 by the Flying Burrito Brothers, as the Stones didn't think the demo was worth recording fully. It was subsequently recorded by the Stones for their 1971 album, Sticky Fingers when they felt it was worth reconsideration. It was also released on June 12th of 1971 as a single with Sway as its B-side. A few years ago, shortly after her success on Britain's Got Talent, Susan Boyle released a completely different version and is the version I'm about to sing for you tonight. The song honoring the talent of the incomparable Rolling Stones is Wild Horses. Childhood living to do the things that you wanted well I bought them for you graceless lady you know who Slide. 
right through my hands Wild horses Couldn't drag me away Needless to say, the Rolling Stones not only became a huge group, but gave us a ton of music never to be forgotten. So thank you Mick Jagger and the gang for the many hours of pleasure you gave to both our eyes and our ears. On my last show, I honored Lionel Richie and the Commodores by singing their blockbuster hit, Easy. Well, tonight I plan to honor them one more time because this song happens to be my all-time favorite recording of theirs. Recorded in 1979, this soul music hit by the Commodores was released as a single on Motown Records with such a woman as the B-side. And it is notable for being their last number one hit before Lionel Richie went solo. The song's beauty speaks for itself. It's called Still. Oh, 
lady Morning's just a moment away And I'm without you once again You laughed at me You said you never needed me I wonder if you need me now So many dreams that flew away So many words we didn't say Two people lost in a storm Where did we go? Where'd we go? We lost what we should have found You know we let each other down But then most of all I do love you Still games that people play We made our mistakes along the way Somehow I knew deep in my heart You needed me Cause I need Too blind to see But then most of all The Commodores gave us that one, as well as so many other acclaimed hits, much too numerous to mention. So thank you, Lionel Richie, and your wonderfully talented group known as The Commodores, for the many musical highlights you've given us. The final group we'll be honoring tonight is also a very famous and exciting duo known as Ike and Tina Turner. The song I'm using to pay tribute to them was released as the title track to their 1966 studio album produced by Phil Spector and written by Spector, Jeff Barry, and Ellie Greenwich. Rolling Stone magazine ranked this song as number 33 on their list of the 500 greatest songs of all time, and it was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame in 1999. To honor the inimitable Ike and Tina Turner, here's my humble take on River Deep mountain high. When I was a little boy, I had a puppy, only dog I ever owned. Now I love you just the way I love that puppy, only now my love has grown. And it gets stronger. In every way And it gets deeper Let me say And it gets higher Day by day And do I love you My own mind River deep Mountain high Yeah, yeah, yeah If I lost you Would I cry? 
Thank you, Ike and Tina Turner, for so many dynamite memories that will forever remain engraved in our minds as a memorable part of musical history. Well, my friends, it's time to say goodnight, but I'll be looking forward to seeing you all back here two weeks from this evening on May 11th for the celebration of my 300th internet radio show, where, as promised, there will be something very special for you to hear, something that has been lost for over 30 years. That said... Thank you for joining me tonight, and with nothing but love in my heart, from my little corner of the world to yours, here's wishing you an amazing night, along with a fabulous weekend, as I return you back to our dear friend Ron Baker and Ron's Record Shop. Good night with buckets of love, everyone! (laughs) 